be talking about using the internet to, the use of the internet in digital evangelism. So what is undeniable is that the internet is a powerful tool in sharing the gospel. Around 50 years ago, if someone wanted to reach someone in another country entirely, they would have to risk their lives and the idea of dying by disease in a country you never knew. But now, with a few clicks, anyone can reach anyone, can reach anyone here, anywhere. And while yes, the internet does have its fair share of instructions, all of which we can testify to, it is a very, it can still be used to help people who are seeking the truth and helping us give the truth to others. So a story is told of a woman who was confused about faith. She was raised in a home that had faith and while yes, the home did encourage her to look and find something, she never found anything convincing. Then one day as she was going to the internet, she came across a site that seemed to interest her with the question, what happens after death? So she clicked, she read a few articles, she watched a few videos, and she seemed convinced, but she wasn't sure. But she began digging into the Bible, and after a while, she attended a local church and gave her life to Christ. So what's this is one of many examples of how the internet has been used by many to reach others in other places. So can someone read Romans 10, 13, 14? Yes, thank you very much. So what this verse shows us is that without, if people do not hear, then they cannot know. And if they do not know, they cannot know. So to, if we can use this internet that we get access to daily to reach others, therefore they can hear and know and believe. So while, while yes, it's a great tool, we must use it wisely. We must, we must be, we must be smart in our approach. We cannot just plaster verses everywhere, expect anyone to read them. No. We have them. There's a systematic approach when it comes to evangelism and Jesus. And another thing we must remember that while yes it's powerful too, it is not a substitute for personal relationships and face-to-face -face evangelism. We cannot just use the internet and just expect our job to be done. No. There there is still importance in the giving out books in talking to others, in sharing your faith. And finally, but after all this, despite all this, the internet is still a powerful tool because there's still a lot of people we cannot just go and talk to and reach and give books. And the internet allows us to reach them. And finally, we must remember that we have been given a great commission that has given to us in Matthew 28, 19, 20. Um, Go ye therefore make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So in this great commission we learn, we are shown that we've all been given a job to reach out. And by reaching out using the things we have daily, we are, we are fulfilling the commission that was given to us by Jesus. So finally, let us not forget, this message we have been given is a powerful message. This truth, God has allowed us to reach, to receive this truth, and He is using us as tools to give this truth to others. So, with that in mind, let us be able to use the tools we have mindfully to reach others and meet and have more people in the kingdom of heaven. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Brother Gigi, for being. Yeah. Use store of internet. So 